hello and welcome to Smelting Bean Cans Day. I've made a, I don't know if you can see that alright, but I've made a ceramic mould in there of a gear. Inside that clay mould I've put a load of pencil leads graphite which will be my magnetic conductors. I have some bone dry aluminium cans in there so I've got rid of all the beer and shit and I've only used the lids of them because then there's no paint. I surround it with some fine sand and I'm going to whack this in on 30 minutes on high and as soon as I close the lid, it's plugged in, I'm going to run like hell because I have no idea what is going to happen. But there's only one way to find out. So here we go. High, 30 minutes, and we're going to go 3, 2, 1, run, okay? 3, 2, 1, run! Hang on. Better just switch it off just to be on the safe side. Quick, 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 quick. It's on, it's on, it's on. Run like fuck. Run like fuck. Run, run, run. Sorry, I've got to go back in the other way. I should never have done that. I should never have tried to approach the microwave after I've activated it. That's how people get killed. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. Now then, just sit calmly, and see what happens. Now what should happen is the microwave, which is on, definitely. The bean can should melt. I have taped up the air vent and I'm sitting behind this glass door for safety reasons. I hope I've done this right. I pray that I've done this right. Fingers crossed the bean cans will just melt into the shape. If I've done this wrong, the whole thing may explode. May God forbid. Very dangerous experiment. Hence why I had to do it outdoors, just in case. Just in case. I heard something. Better go and check on it, I think. It sounds like it's still going.
I'm shaking because I'm a little bit nervous. Definitely done some work. Well, after 12 minutes, it hasn't exploded or anything. I don't know quite what's happening, but it's still going. I've taken all the advice, I've used sand as an insulation, I've taped up the air vents to stop the aluminium from oxidising. I've made a clay based malt. I mean, the thing says you should make a sand, part sand, part bentonite malt, but oh well. It says use graphite as a magnetoconductor, which I've done. I've put those pencil leads all the way around it. So instead of the aluminium lighting up like a firecracker, it seems that all the microwave energy is going into the pencil leads. And then the heat energy is just being dissipated around the ceramic. It seems to be working. Just listen again. Sounds like it's working. I can hear the fan going. To get aluminium to be liquid, I think you need something like 600 degrees centigrade, which is very hot. Three times the temperature my oven can do. We've done half an hour already. How's that dollar doing? Oh, he's got down a bit more, it seems. Oh no. Oh. That pigeon. Oh no. There's something that happened now, that poor pigeon. Blur. That's better. That's 
all we want. Yep, he's definitely going down. are directly touching the graphite ceramic mix. They melt, is the theory. The ceramic and graphite just get hot but stay solid and the sand just stays as sand and just very, very, very slowly soaks up the heat. We're nearly there. Well, after 35 minutes of cooking and 30, 30 minutes of waiting for my battery to recharge, no explosions, no sparks, and as you see, nothing has melted. Nothing has melted, okay? Only thing that's mildly interesting is that down there, there appears to be some, a bit of really hot ceramic or some shit, and I'm putting my, uh, the end of my um, broom handle onto there, and I'm really pressing down in on it. And nothing seems to have happened. Basically, whoever had this idea that you could melt bean cans in the microwave is chatting complete and total shit. And the mic and the moulds even just smashed. And all that happened is that the bean cans just flew everywhere. That's all that happened. Nothing's happened at all. Look. What a crock of shit. What a crock of shit. <laughs>